three months. I'll call the Dr. Megan um, I'll just take a very quick call here, Madam Chair, um, just to um, answer the question that the member um, has raised there. Um, he asked the question how people can go two years um, without knowing they had lodged a claim. Well, Madam Chair, I think this very much speaks of the genesis of this bill and that is of the experience of the Canterbury earthquake um, sequence. I think anyone that has been doing constituency work in Christchurch over the last um, seven or eight years um, has experience of people um, who a various um, number of circumstances mean that a claim was not lodged within the three-year period. And I know that um, I've certainly had situations where there may have been a death of an elderly person and it's only when the family come to clean up the house and empty it out that indeed damage has been found. Um, as the member um, Stuart Smith identified, that 99% of claims are filed within the statutory period under the old provision. But what we do know out of the extraordinary circumstances that we've been through in Canterbury, that we actually do have to have legislative flexibility um, around some of those extraordinary circumstances that do surface um, when there is an event such as we went through there. So this is very much, it's not sloppiness in drafting, I'd like to assure the member. Um, it is actually born of lived experience of people on the ground doing constituency work and understanding the needs of those that need to use the, the, the um, to use those services. And I'm sure that is a feeling that is acknowledged across the House from members from either party, um, any party in this House that have been working on the ground with that. Um, so I, um, I hope that answers the member's question about that. But I would like to thank um, the opposition for their support for this bill. I call Alistair Scott. Thank you, Madam Chair. I would like... Uh,